Hi, I'm Keely, also known as Kelly. And I'm Feely, also known as Alex. Welcome to our corner of the Shire, where we will show you how to bring Middle Earth into your daily life to keep you a, a happy, happy hobbit. hobbit. The dance is in a couple hours. What am I supposed to be doing? Actually, that looks kind of good. What is Feely doing? Feely, where are you? In here! What you're gonna wear to the dance? Pretty good idea, I think. I just hope you know the other Feely likes it. I worked really, really hard, as you can tell. How did you do that? You know, I mean, it's one of my talents. You did it by yourself. Yeah. And and all the paint and things. That's called makeup. Whatever. And he's gonna like it. Okay. Can you do it to me? Yeah. I mean, if you did it to yourself, it should be pretty easy. I can do it. Yeah, I can do it for you. Yeah! Right. Let's do it. Just one sec. We'll take pretty quick. I'm, I'm really, really, really good. I can't wait. I'm not gonna look until you're done. Yeah, just like, you know. Because your hair looks so pretty, I can't believe you did that to yourself. Well, I've been practicing a lot. I can tell! And I've like, I've been looking forward to this, and, you know. It's I'm, not every day that it's St. Patrick's Day. No, it's not, and like. And that you're going to a dance with the other Keely and Feely. <laughs> I know, like, I am gonna look so, we're gonna look so good. And he is just gonna... Oh, this is... Yes. Can I look? Not... Okay. If I said I wanted to look like George Washington, I would have said I wanted to look like George Washington! Whatever. I don't believe you did this to yourself anymore. Duh, I did it by myself. What do you think? I have a hairdresser in my closet? <laughs> no, but I'm borrowing one of your dresses for tonight. Keely, stop! <gasps> Hi! Who are you? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm Monty Rose. And what are you doing here? I'm the hairstylist that uh, Feely keeps in the closet. Okay, can I help you? You know what? Why not? Great! <laughs> Let me Thanks. get out there. Look! It's a, little... it's, a, it's a little snug. She keeps all the time. <laughs> um, you know, like you do. <sighs> oh, she got to you, huh? Uh, the, that. Yeah, hairstylist. Closet. Feely. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Alright. Let's see. Oh my goodness, she really didn't. Just hold still. Oh. I need to talk to her. This is just. I mean, it's one thing keeping me in a closet for days, it's a totally another thing to do something like this to someone's hair. This is ridiculous. For those of you just joining us, welcome to this episode of Happy Hobbit. I'm Keely, and this is our friend, Moni Rose. Hi! Moni Rose is a hairstylist who owns her own salon called Copper Blossom Hair Studio in so. Felton, California. So if you need your hair done, be sure to look her up because not only is she a hairstylist, 
but she has a background in Middle Earth. I'm a Welf, um, wizard elf, and I was left out, and some elves found me, and I lived to well over a hundred, so, yeah, they didn't know what I was, and, you know, I, the thing is, I'm not an elf. Not really. Um, and so when it came time to get good at archery and all of that, I sucked, so I went to beauty school. I mean, someone's got to do all those amazing braids and updos. They're certainly not taking the time to do it themselves. So, And as Yay. you're about to see, she can do magic with hair. So there's many, many different things that go into um, Tolkien hair. It, the amount of people that went into the styling aspect. I mean, I know that the movies get so much credit for cinematography and acting, but the group of stylists, makeup artists, hairstylists, wig masters, there's probably plenty of wigs, um, is unbelievable as well. Um, what I'm going to show you today is just some really, really simple ways to do your hair um, to give it that Middle Earth feel. Um, and you can use these hairstyles for, you know, holidays that we like to celebrate, like St. Patrick's Day, or maybe the Feast of Starlight, or Midsummer's Eve, or even just like a fun day at school. You're going to school and you just you woke up early and you have some time and you want to look nice. Now it helps to have a sheet of hair, but for those of you that aren't blessed. Um, just remember that any of these can be modified. It just ends up being a little shorter. You may have to use more bobby pins or hairspray. So, there's a number of things that you might want to get together to have a little hair styling kit for yourself. A lot of these things can be found at your local dollar store. You don't have to go to specialty beauty supply stores to have a little hairdo box. So, plastic container. Um, some of these things are really you might already have around your house. So this is a rat tail comb. It's a metal, some are just plastic, but this helps to section out hair for braiding and smoothing at the end. A package of bobby pins, easy. Festive threads, we'll go into that in a minute. Some clips, these are special three prong clips, but any clip will do. Hair ties both in thick black to maintain the mane. And then I like these clear little rubber bands. They break kind of easily, but they're easy to hide and that's not mine. What, what is it? Are you okay? What is that? Oh, nothing. It's okay. It's nothing. This is a Moroccan oil. This is a smoothing serum. It smells really good, but when you're braiding, you want something to be really slick. You don't want it to fall apart. So a, any sort of gel would be too sticky. I use Marrakesh oil, and it's just a soft, light hair oil, and it smells really, really good. So we're gonna start with a basic braid. There's all kinds of ways that you can braid hair. French braid, fishtail, waterfall, but we're going to start with a basic plate. So you break the hair into three sections and then you simply cross over the one from the left over the middle and the left becomes the middle from the right over the middle and the right becomes the middle and you continue this pattern all the way down to the end of the hair. Now if you're lucky enough to have hair as long and as thick as Keeley's, then you can do some really amazing things. Once you have your full plate done, which seems to take forever, you can take a hair tie, and seal off the end. Seal? Yes, sealed. And then there's many different things that you can do with this braid. If you wrap it around itself and then pin it, 
it becomes an easy bun. For this one, you would use something like the big long bobby pins because her hair is so thick. And you go all around the edge of it, sealing in those ends. Go in and around the edge of the braid. And you'll know if your hair feels secure. And then you have a little half rosette. You can do it off to the side. I enjoy asymmetrical buns and chignons. Chignon just means low bun. You can also take it and put it to the middle and spread it out. And then it would have a wider, more oblong shape through the back. The one thing to remember is the the best part is to play and to have fun. Because if you're not having fun, there's not really a point to it. You can do all sorts of things. This is far more what man would wear. Simple, easy, um, far like more. You could, you could wear this to like the Brie social. Now, if you wanted to get rustic with it, you could add twine to your hair. and it would give it a little bit of texture. If you wanted to be more fancy, you could use any sort of hair ribbons or baubles or clips. The nice thing about the twine is if you get in a pickle, you can use it for something later. Like replace your shoelaces at the run fair, or you know, tie up someone who's bothering you at a con. Oh, that's a good idea. So you could actually, in theory, just put a bunch of chains in your hair. You could. I wouldn't recommend that in an airport though. They're not very friendly or understanding about those things. So oftentimes you'll see crowns and beautiful headbands. Um, we have this beautiful sterling butterfly and this goes in and I'll show you at the end once it's done how this goes into the hair to finish it off and make it look very, very elegant. When you think about elves, what comes to mind for me is grace and absolute stunning beauty and sometimes the most simple things are the most beautiful. A lot of the time if you just start with small sections of the hair and bring them back it can form the most beautiful look. A simple way to get that look is by doing a spiral braid. A spiral braid comes from taking two sections of hair and you each section you roll the same way I'm twisting clockwise. But then when you bind them together, you do that by going the opposite direction. So you roll them counterclockwise together. In this way, you create a spiral. This is a great point for these little tiny hair clips to come or hair bands to come into play. Sometimes a dwarven axe is needed. Well, packaging or and dwarven teeth. Packaging and happy or Elven. hobbit. Packaging and happy hobbit usually don't mix. I don't know why. Usually in daily life, packaging's okay, but as soon as the camera's on, clearly it's orc trickery. Now these aren't ties that you'll keep in the hair. These are just to hold it while you're finishing it up. And if you've done it correctly when you let it drop, the spiral will stay a spiral. It won't unravel at all. On this side, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna do a mix of a French braid while doing spirals and pickups. Please ignore my Hobbit ringtone. Is it Bilbo? So in this case, when you go to flip it over, you're only going to grab hair from the right side and you're only going to grab hair underneath because you, do, you want it to have a separate effect. You don't want it to, you want it to look like it's been layered over the rest of the hair. So you let all this hair fall and you bring that back and you twist it in. Now you're not going to pick up hair on this side, you're just going to continue to twist. And then again, you go down a couple of twists 
and you're always going to pick up on the same side. And then you do a couple of twists. And here I'm grabbing underneath everything. And this is going to hold all of this extra hair. So that when it's here, it looks as though there's a basket or something holding all of her hair. Now we're going to go through and do this, where we just grab a bit of that hair and let the rest fall. So we finished doing the same thing on the other side. I have done this in a side part through the front. You can do it in a center part as well. Like I said, every time you do something a little bit differently, it just comes out just that little bit more special. So now that you have these two spirals, they're going to come to the back and you're going to figure out how to connect them. How I like to connect them is by spiraling each of them one way and joining it together. into its own spiral. It can be a little tricky and it'll take some practice and a lot of these things can be very very hard to do on your own hair but if you have a sister or a friend um, you can get together and drink blackberry wine or have tea and play hairstylist. Now and this hairstyle is really comfortable. FYI. What else you can do is so you have the main part then you can bring in more and then let that drop and then add it into a braid and it becomes more elaborate Really the best way, after 14 years as a hairstylist, it really just comes from, I like to play with hair. So you're going to find out what you like to do and how your own signature style comes through just by playing. Don't be too serious about it because then it doesn't, it's not fun anymore. What I want to tell you is never underestimate the benefit of a good accessory. Um, Finding that perfect hair clip or that perfect jeweled barrette or something that you absolutely love, save your money and get something really nice because you're going to use that for years to come. So mm -hmm. another very simple way to use that accessory is by taking little sections of hair, not all of it, but you go one. Then you take the same amount of hair from the other side. Hold her. If you go looser with it, you can let it fall. And then you can take whatever accessory you have, whether it's a clip or a barrette, and add it to what you've done to your hair. And that takes something very, very simple and turns it into something very pretty. Finally, I'm going to do a much fancier, more elaborate style. This is something that you would more likely go to your own hairstylist for or find somebody that specializes in updos or practice, 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 and you'd be able to do it for a friend. But it's kind of hard to do these styles all on your own, on your own head of hair. Is this one for the dance? This is for the dance. Am I going to look like Feely? You look just like Feely. A lot of the ways to re achieve a crown-like hairstyle is you do a French braid, but you only gather on hair on one side. As you gather more and more hair through just the one side, it will follow the hair across. This is where I feel really, really creative and this is where I start 
playing and it no two are ever the same unless I figure out something that I really like then I'll remember what I did so that I'm able to recreate it again but most of the time each hairstyle is unique and that helps you to remember the special events that you've been at lots of times when you look at pictures you can go oh that's right I remember I did that to my hair for that party or that dance or that celebration that orc raid that mercenary job battle of the five armies you never know let's not bring that up now please okay thanks okay I'm going to do a technique that I've called the double back. And that's where the braid double backs on itself and comes back this way. In this case, you continue to braid, but instead of grabbing from up here, you're going to continue to just grab from the bottom. until you get around and then you're going to grab the hair from the top and not grab hair from the bottom. What this does is it offers a very secure tight braid to the head that you can stick different pins in or ribbon Also, if you have very, very long hair like this, when you go to wear your hair up, a lot of the time if it's all in one spot, you'll get a nasty headache. Oh yeah. So this helps to distribute the weight of the hair. Now we're going back again, and from here, you switch, and again, you're going to grab from the top, not from the bottom any longer. last section you're going to take over from this side and then you're just going to braid through. Now all of the work that we've done today hasn't used any curling irons, it's all been plating. There's lots of stuff that you can do that to add a curling iron that if your hair is straight or if you just want extra curl to your hair that you can play with. But I doubt that they had curling irons in Middle Earth so we're sticking to traditional only hands-on. We'll let that you one never know slide. Those elves. Elves probably invented bobby pins. So now you have this. You can put a hair tie on. I'm not going to, but um, then what you do is you just go through, and during in separate sections of the hair and the braid, you grab it and you pull through. So you tuck that up and then through another section of the braid, wherever it's loose or wherever you think you'd like it, you make a hole. And you braid it through. If you need to rebraid the ends. So, and with that end, you can tuck it in, take a bobby pin, and seal it down. Now what you can do is any loose ends, if your hair is layered, if you need to, you know, just tuck anything in, you can do so.
And seeing as how this is for a St. Patrick's Day dance, we're going to go ahead and add some ribbon embellishment. No matter how good you are at braiding, I've been doing this for 14 years, you're going to tend to have gaps. A lot of how we fix that is you take your fine tooth comb and you run it up through the gap and tuck it in. That helps to blend all those little areas. If you have little flyaways, a little bottle of hairspray, and then just follow with your hand. Alternately, if you don't like spraying onto yourself, you can spray it onto your hand and then pat everything down. Following after with a little comb will help seal that up. If you don't mind the flyaways, don't bother. It gives a nice whimsical look to everything when you have them. It's really a matter of what is your preference. Finally, I'm going to finish this style with some ribbon. St. Patrick's Day, green is always a good choice. So all you're going to do is start and use your creativity. You're going to tuck and wend the ribbon wherever you feel fit throughout the hairstyle. I like to go back and forth around the hair. Following the curve of what's been done to it. You can also add fresh flowers to your hair. You can add um, glitter. You can even find strands if you were to get um, gold or silver thread from your local fabric store. And you can take a needle and thread the gold or silver thread. This would be much like Galadriel or any elf. And you can have your own... Literally have glittering golden hair? Yes. Wow. Gimli would go ape crazy. <laughs> but all you would have to do is take that needle carefully. Actually, better than a sharp sewing needle would be to grab um, a blunt yarn needle, thicker, and you just kind of sew it through your hair. And it'll take that glittering thread wherever. It's a testament to how sturdy this hairstyle is that you can just kind of pull and tuck the ribbon in. And a nice end to the ribbon if you don't want to tuck it in. And sometimes if you're using more than one color, you can let the strands fall down and be long. Fold it in half lengthwise and cut down and it leaves a nice pleat to the end of the ribbon. Alternately, you can just take the ribbon, tuck it into the end, and it magically looks like the ribbon has just appeared into the hair. Any final touches you can do in front of a mirror, and voila! You have elegant St. Patrick's Day party hair. Ta-da! I hope I look as good as you. Like. Ready. You look so nice for the party. Oh, thank Dance. you so much. You're welcome. I can't wait. Well, it was wonderful. Thank you for the book. Oh, you're welcome. I look forward to reading it. <laughs> Don't and, know where um, it came from or who wrote it or anything. K.M. Rice. I heard she is a good writer, but it's horrible in person. Like, yeah. really neat. Like, witchy. Snooty, too. Yeah, like the fame got to her head and stuff. About as far from down to earth is far from Middle Earth, right? As you could possibly okay, I'm well, gonna go. Is, uh, I'll see you later. Mwah. Thank you so much. Take care. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, you know the way um, to go. It's just down the hall. Just yep. straight down the hall. Just go straight later. down the hall. <laughs> Not so fast. Uh, I, she said I could go. Yeah, into the closet. Y you know, you know the rules. Come on, let's go. Let's go.
ready for you, Feely. Oh, well, at least it's more spacious in here than they thought. What? Miss Molly Rose? Is that you? Oh, hey, Mr. Tumnus. Are you just in time? Care to join me for some tea? Yeah, sorry I took so long. The other one found out about me. Oh, I was worried that would happen. But no matter. Come, come. I have sardines. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Tumnus. You're welcome, my dear. She said it looks as good as your hair. Yeah, like, sort of. Not really, though. Keely would never talk to you with that hair. He'll always only talk to me. And I doubt Keely would even talk to you with that. It kind of looks like a horse spoon. And where exactly do you think you're going to be talking to Feely? At the St. Patrick's Day dance? Where else? Oh! <laughs> that, it's just that... That's kind of cute. Like, Yeah, I know it's cute. We're it's adorable. Like, We're the best couple ever. Talking to a fictional character at a fictional dance. It's got a nice ring to it. Fictional dance? Yeah. What are you talking about? I made it up because I knew that if you thought that there was a chance that you could impress Feely, you would go and, and oh. do this girly thing and it would include bathing and then I wouldn't have to spend my entire day plugging my nose to avoid your D.O. Okay, my dwarf odor has nothing to do with this. And, and it has dwarf everything to do with this. You haven't bathed in like days because you think you're building up some sort of musk to attract a... I don't even know what. You're and a jerk! Right. Happy St. Patrick's Day! And if you're going to a happy St. Patrick's Day dance... That actually does or party exist! ...or festival, yes, I hope it exists. Yeah, um, me too, and hope the actual guests exist as well. So they can enjoy your beautiful hair! That's beautifuler than hers. Nope. Obviously. I've got the butterfly. Yeah, well, I have... Ah! You totally faked that. I did not push you that hard. No, 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 I'm not doing that. Not doing that. <laughs> that was so good. That was awesome. That was like, you're like, I'm, I'm slowly, it's coming down further and further. <laughs> Okay, that if you don't shower for three weeks, or, you know, shave your legs. Or if you'll attract a little hairy man. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm bad. Wait, what am I doing again? Wait, you're just opening the door oh, okay. and no, pretending okay. that she goes. A nice finishing touch for ribbon is if you have a pair of scissors. <laughs> if. If you had a pair of scissors. <laughs> or a knife. Or a knife. As dwarves tend to have many of. Thanks. See this? Crack, crack kills. Yeah, that, that's, that's that right there is crack control. Now if you had scissors, you're a normal person. <laughs> Yes, this is what the filming looks like. Yeah, I was gonna say, did you pan over to see her butt? Like <laughs> I did. <laughs> twerking. Twerking. Hobbit twerking. Oh dear. It's disgusting. Twerking. <laughs> Ork. You should have changed your armpit as a weapon. I feel like that was the longest. That was the longest. Was the stupidest thing from far away. I know. So we'll take a lot of the printing. <laughs> I'm a warrior. <laughs> <laughs>